Through a feminine lens held its closing reception in the Longwood Art Gallery at Hostos, where seven female artists who work and live in the Bronx reflected on the impact their beautiful photography, exploring femininity, had on the community. It identifies them as well, you know, who they are, and what it means to be part of this community. Generally, it's been positive feedback, <laughs> so that's good. I've also heard feedback, you know, about, like, how it feels very nostalgic also that idea where they agree that yeah you know like this is what you grow up seeing and like we're tired of it. I am extremely happy about the way people are kind of walking the narrative path that I've set up with with the model but they're walking it in their kind of their own journey. The artists also express how working alongside other women of color a rare sight in the art community felt to them. I saw the list of the other women and I'm like oh my god these are really great artists and um, it feels like we're together, like, you know, more of this would be great, more unity. I literally still cannot believe the diversity of expression that I see just walking from one end of the gallery to the other. It's really strong. I mean, that means we have to continue being united and working together. Co-curators Juanita Lanzo and Kimberly Baquedano Rose also utilize the art on display to lead Bronx youth workshops with some of the artists. Some of them created drawings, collages, but also to me the most important thing is our Bronx youth that see themselves or, or can relate to the images that were made by women that live and work in the Bronx. Although Through a Feminine Lens had their closing reception, you can catch other galleries like it here at the Longwood Arts Project in Hostos. For BronxNet, Sanji Lopez.